Every single PLC module that you insert into a drawing, whether it's parametric, non-parametric or standalone, has what they call a PLC module specification. Now I've got one here, and if I zoom in and pan here, you can see that mine is an AB1761L16AWA. And it's got, in this case, 10 inputs and 6 outputs, and it's PLC001. So the specification is the actual manufacturer, what that PLC module does, how many inputs it's got, how many outputs it's got. So if I was to create a new one and add a new specification to it, I should be able to insert that into my drawing. Now, before we do anything else, I've created another drawing for you, PLC module specification there. So again, go to the project, right click, add the active drawing and say yes to the project default values. And you'll see that that's adopted the 006 sheet number there. So we need to change the drawing properties and change the sheet to 007. Now that updates and I'll just refresh that so that we've got the 007 there. So we're in the project in the drawing list and I want to start looking at now PLC module specifications. Where do I find them? Well, when you go to the icon menu, on the schematic tab here. If I go and look and look at my fixed units there, all of these have got a specification. So if I click there, there they all are there. So there's the one that I've got in the drawing. It's an L16 AWA 10 in 6 out. Now I can go and change that in the PLC database editor and I can create a new one. So I'll just cancel that. Schematic tab again, right over to the end, remember, and click on this little fly out here, PLC database file editor. Now, the good thing is it remembers where we were last time, which is our 1761L16AWA. What happens, though, if I want to create a new one? If I click on New Module like that, it knows the manufacturer, defaults to 1761. It's a Micrologix L16. I'm going to put AWA in there like that. I'm not going to change anything else. AutoCAD block to insert, auto lisp file to run. I don't actually know any of that right now, and I'm not too worried. Obviously, if you were doing this in a professional capacity, you would know which block to insert. You would know which auto lisp file to run to get the parametrics to run. Spreadsheet to PLC, IO utility insertion position, right bottom. You've got module box dimensions. You can set these up as well. And you've also got module prompts, as in what to add. There's your auto lisp information starting to kick in there. Now I'm just going to cancel all of that because I don't know any of it for this particular instance. So there's my new module. If I scroll down, I haven't actually added that new module yet. So I'll do it again. I'll put the code in, AWA, and I'll OK it. So there's my AWA, and it's all blank, obviously, because I haven't put any information in. But if I select that now and go Module Specifications, there's the specification, description, model type, rating, addressable points. So you can see there that the model specifications relate back to your manufacturer, your series, the series type, the code, and so on. So I might give that a description of, let's say, custom PLC, and I'll OK that. So there's my specification in there like that. So that's been saved. I'm going to say that that's done, and I'm going to insert it into my particular drawing. Now, be careful. It says current module has been modified. Do you want to save it before continuing? So if I say yes to that, there's my AWA, so it goes into the parametric selection. So it automatically creates a parametric for me, even though there's no information there. So I'm going to select Style 2, Scale 1. There's my AWA. There's the description in the specification that I put in. So I OK that, and I click there. Let's go for a spacing of 1, and I'll OK that. OK it again, and there's nothing there because I haven't actually set anything up. There's no block to bring in. There's no auto lisp. There's nothing there. But if I click and then right click and edit component, though, you'll see there's nothing, absolutely nothing, because I haven't set anything up. But you can see the actual potential here for module specification, module design. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go and design a PLC module. I could probably do a three day course on that, on designing PLC modules. But I'm showing you how to get there and how to add that module specification and how to add your own PLC modules to the Park Catalog database.